It's not every day that you'll see an amputee walking along with a peg leg and then begin to tap dance. My name is Evan Ruggiero and I am a one-legged tap dancer. It's fun. I started tap dancing when I was six years old. It's something that I fell in love with. I knew that tap dancing would always be something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. When I was 19 years old, I had a pain in my right leg. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, bone cancer, and on May 21st, 2010, I had my right leg amputated above the knee. I was devastated. I just thought, how could a tap dancer be diagnosed with cancer in his leg? I remember my tap teacher showing me footage of Peg Leg Bates, who was a great tap dancer way back in the day. You know, had it not been for that footage, I would have never thought that I could tap dance again. When I put that peg leg on for the first time and I started making those rhythms, I felt a part of me that came back and I felt like my old self. I was able to teach myself how to dance again. I just let muscle memory kick back in and I tried not to think about making a step hop step with my peg leg, but just peg hop peg and changing around the vocabulary of the step. I perform in New York City. There's definitely been an audible gasp in the audience once or twice while I walk out on stage. Tap dancing is very personal. It's very much about the emotion. A lot of times you can tell when a tap dancer is happy by the way he's dancing. Despite having a diagnosis with cancer, I was able to overcome that, and I was able to go back to the things that I love the most. So it's always gonna be a very different emotion that is tied to the art form.